Uh, we'll just describe it in a word, it's busy. And um, it was funny when we started the International Space Station program, coming through uh, you know, decades of the shuttle program, we thought it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. But those of us who have lived up there realize it's, <laughs> it's just a very long sprint. Um, <laughs> and um, so what a typical day is like if there's no um, visiting vehicle that a robotic arm operator has to capture in free space, if there's no spacewalk um, that you're gonna go out and do with your partner to um, uh, spend you know, six and a half to eight glorious hours um, in, uh, as your own satellite repairing the space station. Um, some other exciting things are um, what's going on in our Russian segment um, with our uh, cosmonaut partners and the things that we do to help get them out the door to do the same thing. A typical day today on an international space station is a crew of three or four in the U.S. segment and then two in the Russian segment doing maintenance on board the space station, uh, doing a, a number of scientific experiments um, reaching out to the public and then performing um, either medical uh, checkups on ourselves or as part of an experiment. I mean, the guys can chime in with some other specifics, but a daily routine for us is we get up um, around, it would be uh, 6 a.m. here basically, and we have a few minutes to get ready. Uh, that, that, you know, everything from combing your, well, why would you comb your hair? Um, <laughs> for me, it would be putting my hair in a ponytail, brushing your teeth, you know, the usual morning routine, having your coffee, your breakfast, and then uh, perhaps seeing one of your uh, crewmates. But then you all come together for what's called the daily planning conference, which is a conference around the world with the control centers um, from Houston to Huntsville to Munich to Scuba to Russia. And each one of the crew members are engaged in that conversation, and hopefully it lasts only a couple of minutes, so then we can get right onto our timeline. And then from there, we all, if, if the, the five of us were on orbit together, we'd have our own band that had um, discrete blocks of tasks, and sometimes we'd be working together, and the timeline would show that. Sometimes we'd be working alone, um, and then sometimes we'd be coordinated with uh, people on the ground, be it a... Um, investigator of a scientific experiment or um, one of our engineers on the ground uh, that's helping us prepare for something, um, a big a critical task on orbit, to a number of things. And um, we go through that throughout the entire day. We have a midday meal, you know, around noon, uh, Earth time, and then uh, we end with another conference called the Evening da uh, Daily Plan Conference or the Evening DPC, which kind of wraps up the day and gives us anything we might need uh, to think about overnight until we get up the next morning and do it all over again. In between that are um, you know some self-care uh, um, uh, tasks that need no explanation. You got to find out when when you're going to do them. Things like uh, um, showering and all that. But uh, we have about two and a half hours of planned exercise, and that also includes getting ready for the exercise as well as cleaning up from it. But uh, exercise, as Koichi mentioned, a uh, really big deal uh, on orbit uh, to not only maintain our health while we're in space, but also to um, prepare us for landing, which is, um, a, a, can be a difficult um, period, a transition for anybody's uh, body uh, once you're introduced back into gravity. 